Hey everyone, I'm TH Pine and welcome to Pine's Primate Perception. Today I'm gonna share my very first experience with Minion Masters, the new game by Better Dwarf, which are the guys behind uh, Forced and Forced Showdown. And this seems to share the same universe but it's a different genre. Um, it's the same genre as Clash Royale, so I guess mini RTS or something along those lines. It's uh, This is some um, super early, early access because the game is actually going into Steam Early Access on the 2nd of December, but a bunch of people get access before that to test the game and build a community and stuff like that. So uh, here we are, I got code. Um, I, I actually want to press the second button earlier, but it actually throws you into the game. So uh, I'm gonna demonstrate. So I want to press this, but it will actually throw me into the game. So, um, well, let's play the tutorial before entering the settings menu, I guess. So select a card. Okay, we have uh, a Grenadier, Plasma Marines, Warrior, and Swarmers. Let's play the Warrior, that sounds good. Okay. Do do do, warrior, let's support it with some ranged troops. This works the same way as Clash Royale, I'm sure. So, so I'm, I'm probably pro at this, kind of. Um, enemy's not doing anything, what is this? Living statue, has a lot of health, but only attacks buildings, okay? Swarmers are fast and have decent damage, but low health. Uh-huh, uh, let's do swarmers, because the enemy is not actually defending itself, himself. So, up there, there are the hit points, apparently. We have a fireball, let's throw that, why not? And warrior, we have that already. Well, that that was easy. Oh, that's loud. That's loud. Um, I would like to join uh, to enter the settings menu so I can change that. Didn't have a chance yet. No, okay, we got a new card, I suppose. Cleaver for sex, si sex for sex. Yeah, you have sex with a cleaver. No, a cleaver for six mana. <laughs> uh, regular rarity type minion. Very high damage, but very slow attack speed. Okay, um, so let's let's make some Clash Royale comparisons, shall we? This is, by the way, I'm, I'm gonna address this. This is not a clone of Clash Royale, but we're gonna talk about that later. Um, I'm gonna make some comparisons anyway, because it's the same genre. So this seems to be Mini P.E.K.K.A. I would suppose. Or maybe Big P.E.K.K.A., who knows? Uh, 550 health, is that a lot? I don't know. High DPS, sl very slow attack speed, uh, melee, and yeah. Okay, continue. Uh, we got level 2, well, I got. Um, we get something on level 3. Got 20 gold. The opponent, we see the opponent's cards. Okay, so every deck is only six cards. Wow, that's that's pretty crazy. Six cards? Okay, let's let's see. How's the second duel going? I like the hotkey thingies down there. So this is definitely not a mobile port. That's cool. Uh, try playing your newest minion when you have enough mana. Well, um, it makes sense to not be a mobile port when it's by Better Dwarf because those guys make PC games, right? Well, I think they're available on console as well, actually. So, yeah, he's very slow. Let's play the Grenadier and see what he does. Uh, could you continue moving? Oh, he has a super high, like... Oh, he has, like, a... um, Not a not a, a time before the, he attacks, but a long, like, cooldown after his attack. Interesting, because he puts his cleaver into the ground and has to pick it up again. So, I guess we play the Swarmers. The bridges in this game, by the way, have some, like, extra mechanic. Um, I saw that in some videos, so I think you can count, uh, conquer them, and you you get XP, which will, like, there's not all the mechanics you see here. Oh, there, there are smileys. <laughs> um, because, like, that will give you XP, and you can use those XP to, to gain some extra abilities or something. I'm not sure. I think we're gonna find out in this tutorial. Let's play the Stadio, why not? Stadio, Stadio. Uh, followed by the Grenadier to set it up. Oh, my my range guys somehow won that fight. I'm not sure how that happened. I mean, I take it, sure. Okay, Grenadier deals AoE damage, apparently, which makes sense. So, let's see how good the statue actually is. Let's play another uh, Cleaver here. Okay, he played to the, the statue defensively, which will distract my units. But he has a cleaver and a grenadier on his turret. So. Oh, you can move. Okay, that's. Why can you move the map with the mouse a little bit? That's that's not a useful feature. I'm sorry, loud. Sorry, headphone users. I still couldn't find a way into the option menu. Question? No? It's just, uh, just that stuff. Stun Lancers. Um, minion. I, I guess I could reduce the Windows volume. Give me a second. Let's reduce the 10. The music is super low then, though. I 
think the rest is fine, just the victory sound is ridiculously loud. Their attacks will stun enemies for one whole second. That, that, uh, one whole second, that's an interesting ability. I, I like that, that's cool. Uh, two of them, 70 health, that's not a lot, I guess. 15 DPS, which is not a lot either. Um, but they stun, so that's cool. They're pretty slow, though. So, level 3, I got uh, the lenses, right? Now we get the Dragon Whelp on the next level. Um, seems like the tutorial is just, like, giving you a bunch of cards. Okay, maybe it, it introduces... Oh, yeah, it seems like it introduces the bridge mechanic now, because they're highlighted, so I guess. Bridges are now active. Capture one to earn XP. Okay, let's do that by playing, um, well, stun lancers, I guess? Hi. Oh, he played a statue. These are your perks. Earn enough XP and you'll unlock them. Okay, roger that. So, let's take the bridge. I think you have to, like, to conquer it, you have to have you have to be the only player with units on it and you lose it as soon as an enemy unit steps onto it I think see yeah okay they got it uh, no I got it okay let's play warrior to block his warrior for a while I might actually just play the cleaver here to okay we got a perk you just unlock a perk granting your master global range perks are key to victory Okay, and I activate that, or that just activates on its own. Uh, the tooltip is buggy. Stormbringer against global tech range. I guess permanently. That's cool. So he's shooting over there. That's that's a neat feature, definitely. So let's play a tank. Oh, the cleaver guy is on the turret. I didn't even realize. Oh wow, he's crazy. So he's more like Pekka, not mini Pekka. Do I get the turret? No, not quite. Not quite. How much damage deals a fireball? It, it doesn't tell me. Let's see. He has one at 50. Enough, apparently. <laughs> That's good to know. <laughs> That's good to know. Victory. So, what is this card? Um, Dragon Whelp. Rarity, regular minion. Has wings, which is good against midi ground minions. Wait, the wings are good against ground minions? I guess because it's flying. Um, well, shouldn't it say? Oh, melee ground minions. Yeah, okay. Ground and air. Attacks ground and air. Uh, one at health, one attack speed, 50 DPS, and 7 speed. Okay. So this is. Well, it was melee, right? So it's mega minion. <laughs> to make more Clash Royale compar comparisons. Because why not? Because why not? Oh, maybe we can enter the settings menu now. Oh, we can! Sweet! SFX dialogue. Reduce dialogue. Okay, now I can increase the Windows sound again. There we go. Previous graphics. Why is it 59 and not 60 hertz? Uh, 60 hertz is not available for 1080p. Weird. Weird. <laughs> Very weird. <laughs> uh, well, I take it. Uh, heat distortion reason is off. What is, what is heat distortion? Not sure. Uh, no, 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 previous, no, don't quit, uh, back, I guess. Play against Red Bow. These are all characters from the earlier Force games, by the way. Now you are ready to face a real minion master, along with his nasty perks. Okay, here's some perks as well, cool. Um, let's play Clash Royale style. We play the minion, the, the tank, way back. Oh, he played a bunch of stuff. Okay, this seems to be so like a defensive turret or something. Um, he should be able to kill them. So we play Darius defensively. Maybe throw Warrior in there. There we go. Um, we put a Grenadier here. One of the one of the ranged guys actually moved over here, which is fine though. We should be able to defend this. Fairly. Oh, he played the freaking statue, which is not great. Oh, they have like blobs instead of health. Maybe they only take one hit. Maybe. New perk, so now I got the global range. Let's play the flying one. Um, I somehow have to block this guy. Oh, that's not the flying one. God damn it, I, I misclicked. <laughs> I'm a dummy. That's really bad. Oh, I should just unlock him. Wow. That's cool. That's really cool. Uh, he, got the, he got the bridge there. <laughs> 
Okay, no, not against the ranged one, not the ranged against the ranged one. So, playing a warrior over here. To get rid of this guy. Uh, the stun lancers. No, they're not gonna get far, but I got the bridge. Or the bridge. To be more precise. So I should be okay for the moment. So they, they are all super low health. Let's, let's try to play another tank back. It's just a cleaver guy, not a, not like a real big tank, but... Let's play the flying one and the small ones as well. And the shock troopers, because those are pretty awesome. Oh no, the flying one died. Ah, uh, no, god damn it. The tank was too slow because he got distracted with attacking. That, that sucked. Let's play the grenadier over here to get the upper bridge. And I guess more range units because it seems like we have a pretty good situation at turret right now. Actually, we have a terrible situation at turret. We got another perk. What is it? The hot keys are somewhat broken. Aerodynamics. 20 range minions gain marksmanship plus 3 range. Uh, it doesn't sound too great. So I don't think there's a time limit. The timer is actually going up, not down. Well, oh, he's not actually shooting back, is he? Huh, interesting. That's why I dealt so much damage. Baby drag, no, what's it called? Dragon Valp or something over there? Um, cleaver to counter the statue. Grenadier over here. Oh, oh wow, he almost died. He should be fine now though. Okay, let's get the ranged ones and the small ones in here to support the statue. I uh, should get someone in the upper bridge. So let's get the warrior there. And uh, maybe we throw a fireball down here. In case he's, he summons something. It seems like I uh, win this one though. Cool! This is still loud. Seems to be SFX and uh, not actually dialogue. That's a shame. I didn't hear any dialogue yet. Sniper Scrat. Three mana. Scrat with the sniper rifle. Poor damage but very long range. Ground and air, 50 health. 30 seconds, 40 DPS. Big range, sweet. Well, it's a sniper, it makes sense. Uh, we get something on level 6. Uh, your deck is missing a card, click here to add it. So, decks are supposed to have more than 6 cards, I suppose. Let's go to the deck building. Now add the new, uh, now add the sniper scratch to your deck by clicking it. Okay. Uh, that's actually 9 cards now. No, wait, 3, 5, that's, t that's 10 cards. Huh. I guess. Okay. Um, let's press back. Uh, I, I guess I have to reduce FS SFX. Or just, you know what? We just increase music. And reduce the Windows volume. There we go. Let's hope it's fine now. Uh, you can hone your skills in the solo channels and earn great rewards. Cool. When you're ready, you can start playing online. Solo challenge, online play. Okay, I got it. Uh, King Puff intro. Uh, that's the intro solo challenge, and there are more after that. Okay, and you get some rewards. And apparently a deck has 10 cards, and that's all we, all the cards we have. Crafting. Uh, okay, then more cards. Uh, blind date. Summons a random minion. Please, not a scratch. Cool. Okay. Um, we need 125... Charts or whatever your shards. Well, I was right about that shards are used to craft specific cards and purchase masters You can charge when you get cards you already have or by scrapping cards. You don't want okay gold Gold is used to purchase power tokens in the shop get gold by winning duels compared completing daily quests and by increasing your level So I don't think you can level up your cards Hmm. No, it doesn't seem like you level up your cards which is interesting. What is the long-term progression of this game? Say so card to start crafting a scrapping, spend shards to craft. You can also acquire new masters with shards. I guess unlocking masters or something? I don't know. Next rank. Okay, that's multiplayer ranking. We get a whatever that is. Probably a power token, whatever that does. Statistics. 
alpha test reward. This is your alpha test reward. So we'll get a reward for participating in certain alpha tests. Cool. Um, okay. Well, let's play another round, shall we? King Puff. Oh, oh, the arena is based on your hero. That's interesting. That's definitely interesting. Uh, let's let's play our own whelp. So with turret support. Oh, that still kill each other. That sucks. Um, those are weak. Okay. Okay, so the little blob doesn't mean they only have one hit point or something along those lines. Oh, that was probably not a great idea. Okay, um, let's play a tank quickly in front of that. And let's play those over there. I need the bridges. I completely forgot. What's that one? What's that? What is that? Kill it with fire. Well, not. What, what the? F what the hell did he do? He swapped everything where I was on the bridges. Okay, let's play the sniper. Over here. Pew! So wait, is he moving? Yeah, he's moving. Okay. Um. Oh, don't kill! Don't kill the sniper. Okay, the sniper was quick enough to shoot him. Wait, why did I do that? Ooh, oh, oh, um, um, not good. The sniper is strong there. I like him. It's cool. Okay, let's do the Clash Royale playstyle again. Tank in the back on full mana and build up a huge attack wall. So we start with the really slow one. We follow up with the ranged ones. The sniper is still shooting. Uh, that's pretty impressive. So, there we go. And he's not killing the sniper, which is pretty dumb, obviously. I probably should just play more snipers, really. Oh, what? <laughs> oh, my. Can't see the hit points of his enemy, the enemy unit because it was so, so far up on the screen. That, that sucked. Um, okay, I don't like the color scheme of this game. Like, it's really hard to ident identify units because basically everything is dark on dark. Somewhat. It's still fucking loud. The hell. What? What? <laughs> I know. The sound balancing seems to be a bit off. So, sorry for that. Um, yeah, I don't like the the color scheme. Like, hey, okay, the gameplay seems fine. Ah, uh, that's cool. Uh, you've acquired your first power token. The power token is now active. Go use it. Okay, what does it do? It plays music and does some gambling thing. I guess that's a new card I get. Shock Rock. Spell. Drop a stunning stone on your enemies which stuns and damages them. 40 damage, three radius 3, duration 1 second. Okay, so they stun for 1 second and take 40 damage for 2. Uh, basically zap. You have no power tokens, play more to get some. So power tokens are basically a, a random card. Oh, that's... Okay, so this is the only way... Like, besides crafting, this is the only way of getting new cards. And you only car craft when you get shards. And you only get shards when you get duplicate cards. So, okay. Um, let's, let's put that in there. Uh, let's get rid of the... Hmm. Statue, maybe? Okay, interesting. Okay, let's play one, let's try to play one online match. Let's see if we, like there are some server issues right now, so I'm not sure if that's gonna work. So while we wait, I'm gonna talk about why this is not a Clash Royale clone and you should not call, oh, never mind. <laughs> that was quick. Well, I guess we talk about that after this match. So let's see how I do my first real battle against Immortal Crazy. Oh my God, he's immortal and crazy. So that's not good, I suppose. I think I just started playing a sniper. Oh, maybe not against this guy. Um, flying guy. 
Uh, shock troops. Okay, they stun him in place. Good. Now, uh, Grenadier against the small ones here. Uh, that was a super smart strategy up there. I'm so proud of myself. That was cool. So, flying thingies kill each other. Let's play Sniper behind the Grenadier. Uh, maybe I should play the Warrior so he can potentially tank for the Sniper. Okay, that worked. Cool. Uh, let's play those guys back here. Oh, what is that? Oh, that's the blind date, I suppose. Not sure what that unit is. Uh, we're gonna attack it, though. See how good the shock rock is. It deals okay damage against the shock troops. Oh, I got the global range. I just got the global range, which is actually quite useful right now. So, um, I think... I think I'm doing fine. Let's play Grenadier. Uh, I'm playing another sniper. Oh no, 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 no! No, he killed my sniper with the dragon. Ah, uh, pain. But he got a lot of, he took a lot of damage, so that's good. And they're still attacking, so that should be fine. I like the global range thing, that's like really strong. Oh, what, what, oh no, he plays something random again. Um, no, that's a terrible idea. The idea deals AOE damage. Let's take the bridge to get the XP. And uh, I think I might be good. Okay, fireball. And well, doesn't doesn't even need the fireball. Victory! Well, I'm apparently a pro at this game. That's good. That's good. Is there a way to chat with him? Not sure. Probably in the game I can do the smiley emoticon thingies. Okay, I got 1000 gold. Oh yeah, what can I do with gold again? Buy power tokens. Oh yeah, buy power tokens which gives me cards. Okay. Um, how much gold do I have? You now have enough gold to put... Oh, there we go. <laughs> uh, okay, let's, let's, let's see. Ah, hi, Caesar. That's Caesar, right? If I remember correctly. Oh, by the way, the setting is that this is another TV show by Caesar. So, oh yeah, 1,000. Okay, buy. Yes. One power token, okay. Uh, power tower. <laughs> oh yeah, I want this guy. Give me this guy. No, 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 no. Give me that guy. Give me, yes. <laughs> he looks awesome. Oh, hello. 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 Rammer. He's rare, cool. Moves fast towards building. He hates them. <laughs> Efficient as at destruction. Um, deconstruction. Uh, that's Hog Rider, I suppose. Uh, targets buildings. Pretty decent DPS. Good health, very quick. Okay, cool. Now I got a Hog Rider, that's nice. Uh, so, take to the candy shop. <laughs> I don't have enough gold, so. Um, I definitely want to have him in the deck, but yeah, I'm not gonna worry about that for the moment. Okay, so uh, let me really, really quickly summarize my thoughts and talk really quickly why this is not a Clash Royale clone, why you should not call it that way. So people call games of new genres clones every time. Like that's that's a thing for decades now. Like back in the days, days every first person shooter was a Doom clone. So yeah, um, that's not useful though. That's not a useful description. Like if we would go by this standard, every jump and run game would be a Mario clone. So yeah, don't maybe don't do that. Uh, games have the same genre if they are similar, or maybe they have like uh, are like heavily inspired by another game. Um, there are clones on there, and clones are usually a pretty bad thing because, like, this uh, mostly happening on mobile. People are actually stealing other people's game and just reselling them with a different skin, or sometimes even without a different skin. Maybe sometimes they just steal the same, uh, sell the same game. So that's pretty terrible. So we should, I, in my opinion, we should save the the name clone for those terrible things. And I don't think a new entrance into a new genre is a terrible thing. Quite the opposite. Also, why this game cannot be a clone. Um, is the game is in development before the developers ever heard of Clash Royale, so it cannot be a clone of that, right? The same, like the same, it's the same reason why Le League of Legends is not a Dota clone and Dota is not an AOS clone. 
Uh, but yeah, okay. With that out of the way, let's summarize really quick. So um, I like having, uh, like I like Clash Royale. So I like the, the genre and I like having a new entrance into the genre, especially primarily PC. So that's cool. Uh, it seems to control fairly well and run fairly well. Uh, I like the art style. Like I, I like the, the universe of Force, so that's cool. But I like, don't like the color scheme. Like it's very brown on brownish, pretty dark units. Like it's hard to dis distinguish them. Um, by just looking at them. If you compare it to Clash Royale, for example, which has super calorie, like it has a lot of bright, different bright colors, like a, a bright green, a bright red, a bright blue, a bright purple, and, and stuff like that. Like it's really, really bright, and the, the, the ground is green. So it's everything is totally different. Like it's, it really, it's really easy to identify units, and they have really different silhouettes as well, which is not necessarily true for those because of, a lot of them are like fairly human. Uh, or humanoid uh, of the same size, so it's kind of hard to distinguish them from time to time. I think I uh, probably uh, obviously that gets you you get better at this uh, if you get some experience. But it's nice to make this easier for new players and also for viewers. Like if you want to uh, like have have good streams for this or maybe competitive um, tournaments and stuff like that, it's important for the viewers to to easily see what's going on. And if you have just like a bunch of units all brown on brown um, grouping up on on the same place on the map. It's really hard for the viewer to figure out what is actually going on. So, yeah, I think that, that needs some work. Um, I'm not sure about the progression system yet. Uh, it seems to just unlock cards. Like, that seems to be the only thing. Um, since this is not going to be free to play, by the way, I'm going to talk about the business model in a moment as well. Uh, this might be okay, though. Uh, it depends on how many cards there are. Do we have any idea? Maybe from the crafting menu. So, let's go crafting. That's uh, 12 cards per page. 2, 3, 4, 5. Four, so 48, 49 cards. Oh, it says down here, five pages. So four times 12 is 48 plus one is 49 cards and they will probably add more. 49, that's that's okay, I guess. I mean, depending on how quickly progression system is, that, that seems fine. Uh, also, you unlock the new heroes. I'm not sure how you get them in the shop, maybe? Oh yeah, masters, you buy them. Stumbling a walk for, for shards. Uh, how do you get shards again? Oh yeah, for crafting. Oh. So I have to, okay, I guess I get duplicate cards and get shards for that and therefore trade them in for, uh, and then trade them in for masters. And they have different perks and different attacks as well, I think. So he's actually melee. Interesting. Okay. And you can buy different arenas, which, okay, it's not based on the hero, it's like, um, it's like you can buy it, it's cosmetic. And I think there are skins as well, I'm not sure if you can buy them actually, but you can, get, like, there are some rewards, um, like beta rewards and stuff like that for skins. Huh, okay, so the business model from what I've read, I'm not 100% sure on this, but uh, that's how I understand it. So basically, the game is built in a way that they at any time can just flip the switch and make it free to play. Um, because this is obviously a multiplayer focused game, so you need a player base. So if the game doesn't do well enough or at some point loses a uh, too many players, because yeah, after some time games tend to do that, um, switching the, the, the switch and make it free to play is a good move to increase the player base obviously. Like other games did that as well, free to play as well, Evolve for example, good example. Um, and um, they built a game from the ground up that they can do that easily. And the business model basically is this is a free to play game, but it will not be free to play in the beginning. I think they uh, sell it for 20 bucks. And uh, the 20 bucks will basically give you a lifetime boost. Like it gives you a bunch of unlocks already and it gives you a lifetime XP boost or, or gold boost or whatever. And we yeah, are gold boost, I guess. And uh, basically the ideas, I'm not sure if they're gonna pull that off correctly and if, it, if they balance it correctly, but basically um, it will f have a progression system. Like if you have that boost, the progression system will be suited to for um, a, a pay first game, like a premium game and not a free to play game. And so it should feel right for that, but if you if they switch the flip and enable free to play, then free to play players will have a slower progression system, and they can also buy the the deal the, the boost for the 20, 20 bucks as a DLC, but they also can play free to play, but then their progression will be slower, and it will be more like a free to play game progression. That sounds like a good idea. I wonder if they'll make the balancing right, and I wonder if there will be enough unlocks for premium players. But forty nine cards. Might be okay, might be okay. Um, there is no card leveling, keep that in mind. Like the Clash Royale, like, I like Clash Royale, but the, the business model of that game is fuck awful. Like, it's 
Like, okay, it has one good thing. Like, it's playable. It's good. Like, it's playable very easily for for completely free. But if you actually want to make your money count in that game, holy shit, you have to drop a lot of money. And even then, it's not actually doing much. Like, it's really hard to actually progress in that game. Uh, it's pretty crazy. But it's still fun as a free to play player. So I don't mind too much. But it's still terrible, terrible business model. Anyway, so I hope this game does this better. And um, also, obviously, it's PC first, which is cool. I like the idea of the bridges and the perks. Like, it's a, bit, a little bit more complex, a little bit more depth there. Um, it's cool to have those bridges to fight over. That's that's neat. Um, yeah. I like it so far. I'm not sure if I'm a fan of the, like, the only one tower thingy. Like, in Clash Royale, you have the three towers, and you like, get a victory point for fighting the first one. And I don't like, like, I don't think there's a secondary win condition. That that's a thing I'm I'm not too keen on actually. Like the game will just continue until one tower falls, and since this didn't took too long so far, so the match felt quite right, like five minutes or less. That's cool. I think that's a good good timing, uh, like a good uh, good time for a, or duration for a match for games like this. Um, so that's cool. But if both players play super defensively, I imagine the game could drag on forever. So I would like to have a secondary win condition, like either make a Clash Royale style. Uh, with the, no, that doesn't... Hmm, yeah, you could do a Clash Royale, so I have a timer go down when we zero, the guy with more HP wins. But that's kind of lame. I'm not sure. I had some idea about you. Oh, yeah, you could have, like, uh, maybe... Maybe that's in there already, actually. Let's take a look. I, um, I, like, I had the idea that if you get the last perk, you just win the game. Uh, there's a fourth thing. Like, maybe that's in there. Wait, let's actually... Let's actually jump into, into like... The, the solo challenge thingy really quick and, and take a look what the fourth uh, thingy is because there's there are three perks and then there's a fourth mana frenzy xp converts to mana okay um, hmm. no so so this is kind of like a sudden death mode I guess because it speeds up the mana gain which will probably lead to 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 an end of the match one way or the other eventually but yeah, no, I would like, like, what I would like to see actually is maybe, well, that, that might not be a good idea, but, like, my first idea was, like, if you complete this, you, you win the game as well. So if you got more XP than your opponent or quicker to that point to, uh, than your opponent, you win. So it would be interesting, however, that would potentially lead to a defensive style as well. Like, you just take the bridges and try to hold them. Um, I'm not sure if that's too easy, though, because units tend to, well, continue moving. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know, but I would like to have like a secondary win condition here because if not, then matches could drag on quite a while, which is not great. I just realized my camera placement is not great. I should have moved it to the upper right. Uh, I'm sorry for that. I'm not gonna change it now. Uh, I usually do that in the Pines Primary Perception videos. Like, I just put it somewhere in the, st in the start and then figure it out during the video where to put it, but I didn't because I didn't think about it. There's a mana puff. What is it doing? When an uh, when a when on a bridge, it generates one mana every two second, ten seconds. Wow, that's cool. I'm not sure if it's that, if it's that good though, because it's, like you kill it easily. It's like okay, you you force a move from your from you force your opponent to move for one mana. I guess that's good. <gasps> Sorry. Also, if you put it behind, it, like you make an offense, like you attack, and then you put the mana puff behind. And it's really hard for the opponent as well to, to get to it, I guess. So it's an interesting card. Okay, cool. Um, I think there was one more thing I wanted to talk about, but I forgot. So here we are. <laughs> uh, it's called Mini Masters. Um, pretty cool so far, I have to say. I can't wait. Oh, yeah, player base. Right. Okay, so I mentioned earlier, like you need good, uh, big player bases for um, PvP for uh, focused games. Uh, however, to keep in mind, like, that's the reason why the MOBA market is so hard to get into, for example. But, in, like, keep in mind that this game is actually not a 5v5 40-minute match, um, which MOBAs tend to, do, to be. Uh, instead, it's a 1v1 5-minute match, which makes it way easier to get a proper player base, because the player base needs to be way smaller to get proper matchmaking going. Uh, it's still, you need a decent player base to have, like, get, get decent matchmaking and stuff. But it doesn't have to be as big as for a MOBA, which is basically like really, really hard. Not necessarily impossible, but almost impossible to reach for a new entry in the market right now. However, this, this genre is pretty fresh and um, it's the first PC entry to the genre, so that's good. The second uh, entry, as far as I know anyway. Well, 
I think it's based on a on a on a StarCraft map or something. So um, I guess it has its sources there, but or well, its roots. Uh, but it's still a kind of a new genre, and um, it should be possible to get a decent play base, especially because Battle Dwarf has a fan base. So why not? Uh, it looks cool so far. Mm, I'm gonna give it like a more in-depth view when it uh, gets into early access, I guess, early access, I guess, try to make a proper what is video about it and um, check out the, the business model and stuff and the progression system, how that all works and if it's balanced well and um, stuff like that. So yeah, I, I'm looking forward to play more of this. This is actually, I enjoy this, this is cool. Um, yeah. It's called Minion Masters. I am TH Pine, thanks a lot for watching. I really appreciate when you spend your free time watching my content because I am someone who values free time and spare time quite a bit. So if you do that, I appreciate that quite a lot. Like I feel very honored to do that. So um, yeah, thank you for that and um, have fun and see you next time.